In the Northwest, there are over 200 members in the National Ugly Mugs scheme. Alex Bryce is manager of the scheme. We support sex workers when they're victims of crime in uh, reporting to the police if they want to, and if they don't want to report to the police, um, but they give us permission to share the intelligence anonymously. We actually funded um, as a pilot by the Home Office, um, and that funding ended um, last year, so we've been um, running ourselves on donations from police forces uh, throughout the country. Our private funding um, kind of pulled out and we also didn't get um, an EU funding bid that we, we expected to get. Detective Inspector Simon Davies of Greater Manchester Police says that without the scheme and the option of anonymity, many incidents would go unreported. There would be a gap in our intelligence gathering systems so that you know if there is someone who's clearly committing offences um, in, in the areas of Manchester where sex workers operate, then the police simply might not know about it. This sex worker we spoke to and whose identity we have protected says schemes like ugly mugs are needed to ensure their safety. I was being harassed by someone who wanted, who was offering um, a lot of money for me to get into the porn industry. He said that he was working for a reputable company, they'd never heard of him and he was very insistent, he was trying to track down where I lived, what my phone number was and it really did open my eyes. Um, I always knew there was a risk, but something in my mind told me not to think about it too much because I actually stopped doing the job and I needed the money. And uh, I think it's just amazing that it gives all the alerts to people, that makes them more aware, makes them look out for things. 43 projects are represented by the National Ugly Mug Scheme in the North West. Seven of those are in the Greater Manchester area. One such project is Manchester Action on Street Health. We have to remember that the reason it started was because we needed to keep the women safer. Perpetrators of violence will travel across the country and obviously, um, you know, the work that they've done in the last 12 months, I mean, they've been part and parcel of, you know, sharing information. More information on the scheme can be found on keysnews.net. This is Siobhan Maguire, Keys TV News.